Hello guys, I'm Bisha Shaha and you are watching my channel, What Your Channel. So today is my first video about mathematics. So today we will do about, we will learn about set theory. We will learn about set theory, okay? We will learn about set theory, okay? So what is set theory? So what is set theory? Today we will learn about what is set theory. So set theory is nothing. So who made this set theory? Who made George Cantor? George Cantor, a German mathematician, created a set theory. He is a creator of set theory. Okay. So now we will read about definition of set. set. So what is a set? What is a set? Well defined collection of objects. Well defined collection of objects. It is called a set. Completed. Okay. Each object of a set is set to the element or a number. So what is an element? Each object of a set is called an element. Okay. Now, we should use the capital letters or small letters. Capital letters like A, B. Small letters like small letter A, B. Nothing less. Okay. So, we have, now we have another term. Now we have the another term. That um, another time, another term that is well defined and def well defined. Okay, the another time well defined. So, what is well defined? What is well defined? Well defined is nothing but we define rule by a help of which we can determine whether an object belongs to the collection or not. So, if example, we can write list of the boys in the school or in the, in the class of class 7 or class 6. There is a count rule. If countable, they are well defined. If not countable, they are not well defined. There are two types of well defined, defined, there are well defined and not well defined. Not well defined means I, I can tell, write all the natural numbers. There is endless. If there is started from 1 up to n, n number, up to n number, so that is not ended. So that term we can represent not well defined. Okay. Okay. Now we can write expression of a term distinct. Distinct. So by the term distinct, we mean that no two elements of the set will be same. In other words, all the elements will be different. If there is a, another, if, if the word is doubled in the sentence, if A is doubled in the sentence, okay, then that word will be cut and only write only one time. That word we write only one time. Okay. Only write in the word one time. So the letters in the word committee signifies a collection of six letters. Okay, we will tell it will consist of it will consist of nine letters. Why you have told six letters? Okay, okay, okay. I I will see. See, there is two two letters. M is two times. Okay, M is two times. Committee, committee. M is two times, 
t is two times and e also two times i have told previously that if there is double doubled word or doubled letters okay double letters you have to cut it and write only one time and write only one time i have told previously so you have completed this one this concept you have completed okay this comment this concept is completed okay now representation of a set now representation of a set you have to represent the set in a there uh, a set may be represented in three types or three methods number one is description method number two is roster of tabular method and number three is rule or set builder method okay these are the three points three points or the three methods you can do this is a representation of set two three types of representation of sets okay now description method so what is a description method in this method a set is represented by a well defined statement which is enclosed in curly brackets okay so if we say there is a x number of batsmen or you have to write you have, you, can, you can write all states of india you can write all the states of india first you have to write curly bracket then all state of india then and close with curly bracket in close with curly bracket that is not is okay another example may be happen like the set of all whole numbers more than 10 is represented by by how much curly bracket then all whole numbers more than 10 then curly bracket completed Nothing else. It's so easy, so easy. This theory is so easy. All can do. But who are doing in the first time? First time they will be so hot. But in the time go, they will be easy. They will feel easy to do. Easy to do. Okay. So the second one is roster of tabular method. So what is roster and tabular method? Okay, I will tell you. Wait a minute. In this method, the elements of a set are listed within brackets by putting commas in between two elements. Okay. If we write a is equal to all the vowels, all the vowels, we can write a is equal to curly bracket then all the vowels then close with curly bracket. Like we can write. Let A be the letter of all vowels in English, small alphabet. Then we write A is equal to curly bracket A E A comma E comma I comma O U O comma U curly bracket complete it. That is the roster method, roster or uh, listing or roster method or tabular method. That is. So let another example. Let B the let B be the sum of all even numbers less than ten. Then we write B as B is equal to curly bracket two four two comma four comma six comma eight curly bracket. Nothing else. Nothing else. What kind of symbol? Belong symbol and belong do not belong to belong to or not belong to symbol i will see you so i will see you down here so you can see you can see these are the symbols these are the symbols you can see these are the symbols you can see okay these are the symbols okay these are the symbols you can see in my copy 
and my book. So in Goblin, nothing else we will do. So the symbol, the symbol that one, in the first symbol I have told that this symbol is used to denote is an element of or is a member of or belongs to. Thus, X belongs to sign. A means X is an element of A or X belongs to A. Okay. The symbol, this one, this symbol belongs to symbol, not belongs to symbol, is used to denote is not an element of or does not belongs to. Thus, X does not belongs to A. Okay, does not belongs to A. Means X is not an element of A or X does not belong to A. Okay. Okay. So, this one, some standard sets we have to read. Number one, A is equal to state of natural numbers. A means state of natural numbers. Okay. W means, W means of what? Set of whole numbers. W means is set of whole numbers. Okay, nothing else. Set of whole numbers. I or Z means set of integers. Set of integers. Okay. Okay. Now, number three, rule or set builder method. Rule or set builder method. Up to today, I will be do up to rule or set builder method. This, this is the first, this is a part one. And in the part 2, I will uh, tell about the this one equivalent sets, uh, like types of sets. In the second part, I will tell about the types of sets. Okay? okay. Now, if all elements of a set possess some common property when it discusses, distinguishes from other non elements, then that property may be used to represent the set. Thus, in rule method, a rule is applied by the help of which the elements of the set can be obtained. Like if every element of a set A possesses a common property P, then in this method the set can be written as A is equal to curly bracket X is to satisfy x satisfies p curly bracket over x is equal to curly bracket x this signs this signs is this signs is this side i will tell you in the another one this side this sign i will tell you in another another um this sign is You can write this sign is such that, okay, such that, such that X satisfies P. Such that you can write rotation, this is to sign or this line sign is read as such that, okay, such that. Thus the above set is read as, so this one I have told you A is equal to curly bracket. This set we will write as A is equal to, oh no, I'm sorry. A is a set of elements like X such that X satisfies the property P. Okay, the property P. Okay. So nothing else. Okay. So I have this. So please like and comment. Yeah, please like and comment and subscribe my channel because subscribe I need those is needed I, I like to I like to get subscribers so please subscribe my channel and share your videos share my videos with your friends and comment please okay bye friends bye bye